Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the iPhone 5 touchscreen glass digitizer and LCD repair replacement guide. The iPhone 5 is probably the easiest iPhone yet to repair and the great thing is it still uses the panel lobe screwdriver. The first thing you want to do is remove the two screws on the bottom of the iPhone 5. Uh, these are both the pentalobe 5 star screws. You're just going to remove those two screws. And strangely enough, the iPhone 5 is similar to the 3G and 3GS. Uh, you guys will see that in just a second here, and I will be using a suction cup to essentially pry off the front of the screen. Now you want to place that suction cup towards the bottom of the screen, right above the home button, and you want to pry it in the same direction I am prying the screen right here. Don't pull the screen completely off because there are still three cables held in that you'll see in just a moment here. These three cables are held under a little bracket and you will need to remove this bracket uh, before disconnecting these three cables with a nylon spudger or pry tool. And here's that little bracket right there. As you can see there's three screws holding it in. Please note, if you're not using a screw mat or anything like that, to uh, properly sort these screws as all the screws in this phone are sized differently. Um, all the screws from here on out are going to be Phillips screws. Uh, it's really simple, so uh, go ahead and remove these three screws right here. And once those three are off, you can go ahead and remove this little silver bracket from the phone. It's not connected to anything. Uh, it should just come right off. With the bracket removed, it will now reveal the three flex cables that hold your touchscreen glass digitizer in place. You want to just go ahead and use a nylon spudger or a pry tool. I don't really ever recommend using metal on side um, these phones, but I use the nylon spudger here. Pry tools work fine. We sell some green pry tools on our website. Um, you just want to disconnect the three cables using this pry tool. And with those three cables removed, you have now separated your touchscreen glass digitizer assembly from the actual phone. And you can go ahead and start proceeding with the repair of the touchscreen glass digitizer assembly. Now I am going to try and zoom in on certain parts of this to uh, give you guys a better look at everything. The first thing you want to do is remove the two screws on the bottom. These hold your home button bracket in as well as your home button flex cable. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to carefully remove this home button flex cable with a spudger. You want to be really careful during this part. You see it's still connected there. It's just a tiny bit of adhesive under that. Uh, so you'll use your spudger or pry tool, whatever it might be, and gently uh, lift this up. If you don't uh, do this gently, you could rip this flex cable. You rip that flex cable and guess what? Your home button is not going to be working. So uh, you see how careful I did that. My home button flex cable is still intact. You can go ahead and remove that, place it to the side. And once that is off, you can go ahead and remove the home button. The home button is not held in by anything. You can just push it out, comes right off. Um, if ever you're doing a repair or if, if your phone, if the home button doesn't work or doesn't click, it's probably the flex cable. It's not your home button. So you want to buy that replacement flex cable. All right. Once that is all off, you want to go ahead and remove these three screws on the top. These three screws pretty much hold your front camera in place. Um, and once you remove these three screws, you'll notice the two right here hold a little silver bracket in once again. This bracket, similar to the one that covered up the three original flex cables, just comes right off. It's not held in by anything except for those screws. So it just moves to the side. And you will want to, of course, put it back in the exact same orientation you took it out. Um, and you'll see it has these little prongs, the gold prongs. They go against that part of the actual touch screen. Make sure to put it back in the same way when you are reassembling the phone. All right. Now you want to go ahead and remove the four screws as shown here. And there's going to be a fifth screw additionally um, that we have to remove a little later on before actually removing the silver bracket on the back of the assembly of the iPhone 5. All right, as you can see, my bracket uh, just kind of loosened up itself, but if you're having a hard time getting yours off, you can use a spudger. Um, just place it in the little grooves on the bottom like I'll show you right here. 
kind of place it in between that groove. Maybe use a sponge or you can use an X-Acto knife and it should pop open. And then this is the fifth screw I was talking about earlier. You'll want to remove that fifth screw before actually removing this bracket. If you want, you can remove that fifth screw earlier, um, even before the four screws I just showed you. It really just depends on how you want to remove it. The orientation really does not matter on those five screws. All right. And now you're going to have your uh, front camera to replace. Once again, this is held in by a tiny bit of adhesive. I'm going to show you how to gently remove this. Use a safe open pry tool, spudger, whatever it may be. Uh, just be very careful. Gently lift up on it. Uh, you don't want to rip that flex cable, obviously, on your front camera. And once that is replaced, uh, you can go ahead and start doing your actual phone. Um, the cables on the top are the touch screen cable and then the LCD cable, of course. Your flash diffuser is right there. Um, but that's pretty much the repair. If you guys want, we are also making a reinstallation guide. You can watch that. Visit us at injuredgadgets.com.